Hey guys, what a turn of event that has happened over the past 24 hours, eh? After 15 years, we are finally seeing Diamond and Pearl remakes taking us back to 2007 again. Today's video, I want to go over what I would like to see be brought back into Diamond and Pearl, as well as what will hopefully still be in the games by the time it's released. So let's get started, shall we? First of all, let's start with the Pokey Watch. This item was brought into Diamond and Pearl as a feature using the bottom screen of the DS. The Poké Watch allowed players to check time, see their party, use the Poké Radar, find hidden items, check your steps taken and to use a calculator. This feature was so useful in game and it's an essential to be brought back as it was the first of its kind to give players a different experience to the Pokémon games. The only issue I could see of bringing this item back would be the display screen, as this item was set on the lower screen of the DS and the Switch only uses a single display screen. If the Poké Watch is to be brought back, I hope you guys are ready to see some Poké Radar shiny methods. The second thing I would like to still see in the games would be HMs. As obvious as it sounds, over the past few years now, we've had different methods of getting over obstacles such as the Poké Ride in Sun and Moon and the Poké Bike in Sword and Shield. We haven't had a game since X and Y that needed Pokémon to have HMs and that's been nearly eight years now. If this is to be brought back, I would also like to see encounters that can happen like they did with Ruby and Sapphire and their remakes. Where when breaking a rock with Rock Smash, an encounter could happen. Seeing this with Cut 2 could also make an awesome little torch to add to the games. Imagine cutting a tree and a wild apem just attacks you out of nowhere. Could be great for shiny hunting methods. The third thing I would like to see return would be the Versus Seeker. If you guys don't know what the Versus Seeker is, it was an item that allowed rematches to happen when you have already defeated a trainer. This will be helpful for the younger audience that has joined the Pokemon community recently as well as those that are not the best at the games considering Generation 4 was known as by far one off if not the hardest generation. It would also help with just genuinely leveling up Pokemon hoping we don't see a wild area being released and getting different leveled XP candies. Bringing us on to the fourth thing, I really 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 don't want to see a wild area as well as dynamaxing being brought back into the games it would make zero sense and i hope that they can break the routines of the game cycles not making this a gen 4 story as a gen 8 copy over the past year now the community has shown how much dynamaxing became a fluke and that trying to make something new that wasn't mega evolutions wasn't going to be as loved as much as mega evolutions was where would the story of dynamaxing even come from Considering Eternatus was already on the opposite side of the world causing havoc in Galar, this wouldn't make sense. Finally, the last thing that I would like to see, even though it probably won't happen, would be Mega Evolutions. I know, I know, I'm a sucker for a dream, but before you go after me in the comments, just think how good Mega Evolutions in Generation 4 would be. Imagine you're against Cynthia in the final battle to determine if you're going to be the champion of Sinnoh and then her ace Pokemon Garchomp just mega evolves, the chances of beating her just slightly decreased. Cynthia was the hardest champion by far so why not up the antique and make her even harder and more challenging. Anyway guys, those are my 5 things I want and do not want to be brought back into the games. Is there anyone here you agree with or disagree with? Let me know in the comments, as well as what you would like to see be brought back into the games. I hope you all had a fantastic Pokemon day. If you are new to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, as well as turning on the notifications, liking this video and leaving a comment. Other than that, I'm Psyche and I'll see you guys next time. Later.